Hey guys, it's Lara. Happy Friday. Weigh in day. Um, so, how did my week go this week? Um, it was off to a bit of a rocky start. Uh, Friday, Saturday, I allowed myself a bit more treats than I should have. Um, I did track everything, but it was a little bit crazy. Um, well, I say I tracked everything. I tracked probably 98% of everything. Um, there were a couple, you know, uh, crackers that I ate here and there on the weekend that I didn't track, which is exactly what I say, like, I have to stop doing, right? Um, but anyways, um, regardless, that was in the past. That was Friday, Saturday. Um done uh after saturday i did great um like from sunday to today um i just completely kicked ass uh it really really good um my two concert days i was kind of worried about the temptations at the concerts i'm really proud to say that i didn't i didn't give in to any temptation at the concert and i actually ended up like really 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 under my calories and points targets for those two days because I was so busy um so I didn't eat anything other than like breakfast or lunch during the day and then I had my dinner before I went to the concerts and then didn't eat anything at the concerts so I didn't eat anything after dinner those days so it was a good way to just completely avoid the dreaded post dinner snack right um but actually there's one thing that I kind of want to uh, throw out there with regards to my weekend last weekend. Um, basically, my problem, and it was completely my problem last weekend, was I get something in my mind, like a trigger food or whatever you want to call it. I get something in my mind like, um, you know, last weekend it was Slurpees and chips. And I was like, sorry, my chair is really squeaky. <laughs> I'll have to stop moving around. Um, but anyways, so I was like, I want a Slurpee and a bag of chips. And then it's like, I just, it, and it's like, I, I do this with all different sorts of bad foods or like um, beer or wine I even do this with. Um, so I think to myself, man, I could really go for a Slurpee and a bag of chips. And then it just like sits in my mind and it's all I can think about. And it's just, I just obsess over whatever that is for until I either get it or until I go to bed. I'm not even kidding you. And so I'm just like wondering if that's something that anybody else goes through and if like, how do you deal with it? Like how do you, I guess, stop obsessing over it without giving in all the time, I guess. Um, yeah, cause that's exactly what happened on Fridays. Friday and Saturday, both those nights I had a Slurpee and a bag of chips. Saturday night, I was like, I'm not going to get a bag of chips. I'm just going to get a Slurpee. So that's all I got. And then we came home. And literally, I was home for like an hour after I had my Slurpee. And I just, all I was thinking about for that whole hour was chips. And I want to have chips. And I want to have chips. So then I ended up going out and getting a bag of chips. And then finally that goes away, right? So I'm just kind of wondering maybe tips or pointers. Like I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe, well, I want to, I'm going to get back into scrapbooking. I used to scrapbook and I haven't, like I still haven't scrapbooked my wedding and that was three years, no, four, holy shit, I've, yeah, four years ago. <laughs> um, yeah, and then obviously like I have like a shitload of stuff to scrapbook now like with my daughter and stuff, so I'm going to get back into that. So I'm thinking like, um, because a lot of the eating on the weekend is due to boredom. You know, um, during the week, I'm in my zone, I'm in my routine. We're always in bed by like 9 or 10 o'clock every night. Um, and then up early the next morning, and it's like I have my routine. But then the weekend comes around, and like, you know, Friday, Saturday night, you want to stay up a little bit later, but then it's like there's nothing to do, so then you get bored, so then you want to just eat or whatever. So, um,. I'm thinking like if I get back into scrapbooking and like I could plan to scrapbook on like Friday, Saturday nights and obviously like you can't really eat while you're scrapbooking because otherwise you're going to get food smudges all over the pages and that's kind of gross. So 
yeah, so I'm gonna try that. But any other tips or pointers how to get past, like, when you get something, some sort of bad trigger food or something in your mind and you just, like, can't get it out until you either give in to the temptation or, like, go to bed or something. <laughs> um, that would be great, but... Anyways, um, yeah, okay, so that was my week. My week was, it was, like I say, started off kind of rocky, but it ended up pretty good. Um, so I weighed in this morning at 166.8, uh, so it's a loss of 1.8, so I'm really, really happy about that. Um, I actually weighed in even less than that. I weighed in, like, quite a bit less than that yesterday morning, so, um, a little bit disappointed that um, it's not as low as it was yesterday morning. Um, not that I had a bad day yesterday or anything. Obviously, the scale was just really low yesterday morning because, like I say, my calories and my points were ridiculously low um, on Tuesday and Wednesday because of the concerts. So I think that's why the scale was so low yesterday morning. And then yesterday, like I had a really good day. I was still under like 1,100 calories or whatever, but that was like two or three hundred calories higher than the days before that were so I think it just kind of was balancing it out or whatever so that's fine um 1.8 is really really good I'm happy about that I'm at a total of 47.2 so I'm like really really close to um to my 50 pounds lost so I'm hoping to reach 50 pounds lost in like the next two or three weeks I know I'll be I know I will um, like in the next like two weeks, I really want to like hit that 50 pound loss mark um, in two weeks. So that's a little goal for myself. Um, yeah, and so that's that. Uh, I'll do my P90X update on Sunday, so I don't really want to get into that side of my weight loss because that's my separate update that I'll do. Um, and I don't know. I'm I was like considering maybe combining something like either combining P90X with my weigh-in videos or something because I feel like I'm throwing too many videos at you guys like I feel like it's probably like you sign in and you're just like oh my god whoa like Jesus Christ why she's uploading so many videos um but I don't know we'll see I might com start combining P90X and my weigh-in videos together but we'll see um in other news in other news I'm I feel like a newscaster today apparently no but um in other news um, my, uh, I just wanted to update you guys because it was such a big part of my day in the life of video about my husband and his job and stuff. And he's actually, thank you so much for all the, the kind comments and, and, um, you know, wishing him luck and stuff like that. I really, really appreciate that. Um, sometimes I make these videos and I feel like nobody really cares or watches, but, <laughs> Um, so it's kind of nice to get those, you know, encouraging comments every once in a while. But anyways, um, he's actually decided to stay where he's at. Um, so basically, like, it's just kind of like, needed to make a decision, like, do we want to, because where he's at right now, he's making like a crap load of money, and it's really easy to pay for my schooling without going into debt, and it's like, um, really easy to you know, like, we'll be able to pay off our truck sooner and all this sort of stuff with what he's doing right now. Um, and so if he were to have taken this other job, that was, like, literally, <laughs> it was literally just about half of what he makes now. <laughs> like, huge cut in pay. Um, then, obviously, we, it would have been more difficult to pay for my schooling, and then also because I'd be working part-time, it would have been more difficult for me to bang out the courses as much as I can bang out the courses I don't know why I worded it like that anyways um so so yeah so he decided to stay where he's at um I'm completely happy with that like just not having to worry about money is kind of nice um so anyways he's still like you know he's still kind of looking because there are other jobs out there like um for carpenters that are making pretty much the same money minus the overtime but you don't have to work weekends and stuff like that right and obviously that's where the overtime comes from but like it's like it's still really good money even without overtime but anyways it's the overtime that 
really sucks because now like this weekend we were gonna go out for we still might but it depends and we don't know yet and this is the frustrating part because um we're gonna go out like on um, we're gonna have like a date night tonight and go out for dinner a nice dinner and whatever um but now he might have to work tomorrow so if he has to work tomorrow we're not gonna go out for dinner tonight because then it's like he's just too tired and it wouldn't be very enjoyable um and then also we're supposed to have some friends over tomorrow night for dinner but if he's working all day tomorrow and then he's not going to be home until like five or after five and then he's not going to really feel like you know having people over and stuff so we might have to cancel that so that's where this job is a pain in the butt but we really just have to kind of think about the money right like just be like okay this is gonna and it's gonna pay off in the end because it's not like we're just pissing this money away like it's going towards my education so that I'm going to be able to make more money in the future and you know those sorts of things so um so yeah so but we don't know yet and that's the other frustrating part it's not even just like clear like you know a few days in advance that you're going to be working on Saturday it's like he might work on Saturday or not we're not going to know till this afternoon so that kind of sucks oh and I just want to show you guys here's my shirt that I got at the concert <laughs> it's cute <laughs> Um, I didn't like the lady shirt, so I got this men's shirt, and it's the first time in my life that I've had to buy the smallest size of something, because this is the size small, and it's the smallest size they had, and it's, it fits okay, but it's still kind of big, but it's not too big, and it'll probably shrink a little bit when I wash it, so anyways, but yeah, I was like, that's crazy, that's the first time I've ever had to buy the smallest size of something, so anyways, um, I've rambled on far too long, so that's my weigh-in for the week, uh, 166.8. I still want, I, I always want to say that 170 something or 180 something. I still can't believe I'm in the 160s. Like, it's just crazy. And I'm just about to that halfway point to the 160s where I know I will never see the 170s again. So, I'm um, very excited. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's that. I hope everybody had a really great week. I hope everybody has a really great weekend. And I will see you guys for my P90X update on uh, Sunday. Okay, thanks for watching.